people ask me this. Why do women have high standards? The answer to that question is they don't. Women don't have really high standards. I don't know where you guys are getting this from. Well, I actually do know where you're getting it from. And it's false. It's completely false. If women have high standards, why do so many broke dudes have kids? Because that means that they that broke dudes are hitting raw. So clearly, but but here's what you guys will believe. You guys believe anything that some sour grapes chick gets on the internet or gets in a public forum and says. You guys will believe that a woman who had a baby by a guy who worked at Burger King now wants a man who is six foot five, makes six figures, plus like high mid, high to mid six figures, and she won't take anything less. And some of y'all believe that because you're struggling to get women. So you're like, Psh, this it all makes sense now. Their standards are so high. I'm going to be real with you, and this may hurt your feelings. It's not designed to, but it might. If you're not getting women, if you're struggling, it's because you're not meeting the bare minimums. It's not because they have high standards, because they don't. That's just sour grapes. If you think that you can't get a woman because you're under six feet, you must be doing the dope. You believe the hype. Because... So you're telling me college running backs who mostly are under six feet can't get women? In what world? you telling me Floyd Mayweather, Canelo Alvarez, and these other boxers can't get women? We know Floyd can because Floyd got about, well, wait, we ain't going to all his baby moms, but you, you get what I'm saying. And it's not just because they're famous, because most of the time, like I told y'all before, they're competing with other famous people. We can look, I just used them as an example because you would know who they are. There are plenty of dudes who are 5'5", five, 5'6", five, 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 who are getting girls left and right and having kids with the girls. The reason why I'm using the kids as a thing is because that means a girl let them shoot the club up, bro. She definitely liked him. You guys believe these things and you've been led to believe these things for so many years because you see these sour grapes ladies get on public forums and tell you all the things that they want and they will accept nothing less. When 99 times out of 100, they don't expect to get any of those things. They know they're not going to get any of those things. And they are struggling to get the bare minimum. They're struggling to get so much less. But ask yourself this question. Do you think a woman would rather get on the internet and pretend like her standards are just through the roof or admit that she can't get basic things that she's trying to get in a relationship? Which one do you think it would be? Most of the time, if you're not getting women, it's because you just haven't pumped yourself up in one area. You only need one thing to attract women. And what I'm saying is multiple multiple areas, but if you have if you're if you're really good in one area, you'll be able to get women. If you have game, you're getting women. If you're not getting women, you don't have game. Period. If you have money, you'll have to date, and that's all you have, you have to date lower, but you're still gonna get women. If you're good looking, you're going to get women. If you don't have any game, you might have to date women who are not as attractive, but you're still going to get women. And if you have style, you're going to get women. Maybe you won't, maybe you don't have game, so you may not be able to get women with as much style or you know operating on the same level as you, but you will still get women. If you're not getting women at all, it means that you probably haven't mastered any one of those areas. 
Maybe you're naturally pretty good looking, but you're not maximizing. Maybe you're naturally intelligent and outgoing and articulate, but you're not using that to pull the trigger and get girls, which means you don't have game. You're not able to overcome situations that don't just fall into your lap based on your personality, which means you don't have game, which means you're not going to be successful consistently. Maybe you have money, but you don't know how to use money and leverage that to get a girl. It's just like somebody who, it's just like somebody who play ball or something like that and they get millions of dollars and then they end up going broke after they get out of the league. Yeah, they have money, but they don't know how to use that to leverage it to get generational wealth. You know what I'm saying? So whatever situation you're in, most of the time it's because you have not been able to max to, to maximize one or more areas to, to attract the opposite sex on a consistent basis and be able to get what you want from those relationships. Now, guys will often believe that women have these high standards because it lets you off the hook. Well, women only want guys in the top 1%. Well, how come they keep having kids by guys in the bottom 10%? I'll give you the fact that everybody is chasing the top 10 to 20%, but that's not just finances. That's top 10, 20% in whatever category. When women look on a dating profile and they think top 10, 20%, they're generally looking at it from a perspective of guys that they find are good, good looking, guys that have profiles that look really cool, that say really cool stuff. When they out in the club, what guy is connecting with the most people, getting the most attention and getting the most um, positive feedback from his peers and other women? This is who they will consider to be the top 10 to 20% in that situation. So if you got a room with 100 guys in it, most women are looking for the 10 guys that are moving around, having a good time, talking to everybody, handshaking, dapping each other up, looking like cool people who are having a good time. If you're on the wall, you're melting into to the rest of the 80 to 90% that nobody cares about. This is how that works. If you're in class, Women are looking for a person who's connecting with the group, a person who's doing well in class, looks like they're going to be successful, is wearing certain clothes that show that they have a certain amount of style, whatever that style may be. If it's all grunged out, emo, what, is it, what do they call it? Um, whatever, they, whatever the heck it is. Business, casual, whatever your style is. If you are operating at the top of that, then you are going to be in the top 10 to 20% for the women that are in that class. If you are connecting with people on the highest level, you're going to be top 10 to 20% of the uh, for women in that class. But if you're wallflower Joe, don't get good grades in the class, come like you just got out of bed and that's not your style, then you know women are going to see you falling into everybody else. Guys often say, how can the average guy get a woman? How can the average guy get girls? The answer to that question is going to be, they can. Because if you see yourself as average, that means that a woman is always going to try for the highest thing first and then you second, which means you're always going to be a backup plan because you're operating as a backup plan by viewing yourself as average. If you view yourself as average, that means you're not doing anything to be extraordinary. Why would you see yourself as average and then expect somebody else to actually want to be in a relationship with you? That would be stupid on her part. If you see yourself as average, so she's going to get with you, have a baby by average dude, then try to get an above average dude at a later date. You have to understand this about women. Women can't follow you into the boardroom. 
So the way they evaluate you in terms of relationships and in terms of what you're going to accomplish going forward is based on what they see you do in public settings and as far as a private setting with them. So if you seem like a pushover, a lot of times a girl stops liking you because she's like, well, he's a pushover, so he's never going to really be successful. If you don't stand on your principles and you allow her to push you off of them, she's going to be like, well, he doesn't really have any principles, so he's not going to be successful. So why should I get with him when I could get with somebody who does have certain types of principles and will be successful? A lot of times the things that you do that you think makes you a nice guy, and she may even see you as a nice guy for those things. A lot of times those things will cause you to be so unsuccessful that you're undateable. That brings it back around to what we began this conversation talking about. You have to understand that you have to, if you want to be successful with women, you have to do the things that make you successful in any other environment. If you don't stick out in any environment, I mean, you get lost in the shuffle and nobody cares. If you don't put yourself in a position where you are attracting a lot of opportunities, then you won't be in a position to negotiate for what you want. So if the girl doesn't see other people wanting you, why should she let you smash? Why not put you in the friend zone on the back burner and then after Chad, Tyrone, whoever the hell else, then, you know, jumped up and down on her a couple times and it doesn't work out, then of course she would take you. But you got to understand that that's you doing it to yourself by accepting average. Pops, I'm hurt. She done left me, man. What you think I should do? Boy, back in my day, all you had to do was go to her job and you cry and you get down on your knees. You beg and plead. For her sympathy. I'm telling you, boy, that's all you gotta do. Pop, she talking about stalking her. That's a crime now. Yo, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. And I know y'all tired of getting the same old 1965 game that never works. Well, click the link below and check out nine ways to get your ex back. This is cold hearted game where I give you different techniques to turn the tables on your ex and get them chasing you for a change.